Hi, this is Kevin from Mad Heuristics. Today I will discuss a figures pattern question that is based on the sum of consecutive numbers. Paul used black and white triangles to form some patterns. The first four patterns are as shown below. So in pattern 1, you have one black triangle. Pattern 2, you have 3. Pattern 3, you have 6. Pattern 4, you have 10. Part A, we are supposed to complete the pattern table below. But before we do that, let's observe how the pattern changes. Because in a patterns question, the change is usually the most important. So from figure 1 to figure 2, we see that two black triangles were added. From pattern 2 to pattern 3, we see that three black triangles were added. And in pattern 4, four black triangles were added. So we can deduce that the number of black triangles that will be added should be equal to that pattern number itself. So how would figure 5 look like? If this were to continue, then figure 5 would look like this. So we can say that this should be plus 5, this becomes 15. Now what about the total number of triangles? There are two ways you can do it. The first one is to manually count everything. Or the second one is to observe that these are square numbers. So this should be equal to 1 times 1. This is equal to 2 times 2. This is equal to 3 times 3. This is equal to 4 times 4. So for pattern number 5, the total number of triangles should be equal to that pattern number multiplied by itself to give us 25. So this answers part A. Part B, we are supposed to find the total number of shaded triangles for pattern 28. Now for pattern 28, how can we visualize this? We can say that in pattern 1, your total number of shaded triangles is 1. Shaded triangles for pattern 2 can be expressed as 1 plus 2. This can be expressed as 1 plus 2 plus 3. Then this can be expressed as 1 plus 2 plus 3 plus 4. And this can be expressed as 1 plus 2 plus 3 plus 4 plus 5. So, the idea here is you want to express it in a way that can be calculated from the pattern number. And what can we observe? The last number here is always equal to that pattern number. So if this pattern number is 28, it can be expressed as 1 plus 2 plus 3 plus 4 all the way up to plus 28. So based on the idea that I discussed in an earlier video, you can check out the link below. This it will be equal to half times 28 times 29. And that will give you 406. So this answers part B. Then part C, we are supposed to find the total number of unshaded triangles for pattern 28. To do this, we can simply find out the total number of triangles first, which will be 28 times 28. So that will give you 784. Then we can observe also that the number of unshaded triangles should be equal to the total amount minus of the number of shaded triangles. So this would be 784 minus 406 to give you 378. And this answers part C. Thank you for watching. I hope you've learned something today. 
Click here for more of such teaching videos and click here to subscribe.